Gregory, e technology, I mean e technique tunaona hapa una attend. Inaitwaje and how do you use it and where can it be used? So, e tunaita vertical structure. It's a vertical structure. So now we are thinking in terms of 3D when it comes to farming. Vertical, we are also utilizing the vertical space that we have at our households. So we are also integrating uh, urban waste, as you can see, urban waste with urban agriculture. Here we have uh, plastics, uh, uh, there are plastic containers to make a tattoo and then we put soil. Tunapanda hapa sana sana hubs. As you can see, this is celery. Celery may grow, uh, it, uh, you can consume it, but it's not yet Jafka uh, ile saizinani, but you can consume it at your household. So, uh, one, another characteristics of, uh, of urban agriculture is to utilize the urban waste. Like the organic waste ambayo mtu wana produce kwa nyumba, you can transfer it to your, to your gardens, urban garden. So that's why tunataka pia ku solve challenge ya waste nye tukonayo by using these structures. So it's made of uh, wood, we have the timber and the plastic, and then to me panda sasa hub. It can be placed in a, maybe a balcony at your home. As you can see, it's a jacula space. It's very economical on space. You can have it on, a, on, your, on your balcony, ama on your rooftop at your house, ama anywhere kwa wall too. In terms of watering, how do you water? Because kuna zenye tunonanga maji, na pita, inawenda How do you go about the watering? So right now, tuna water manually because uh, but to keep uh, when we to keep at, uh, funding maybe we'll invest na two pipes kwa tuna ina kwa two water the the containers mm -hmm. but uh, tuna water manually me mm -hmm. twice in a day and then the plastics uh, zimetobolewa huku chini ziko na tushimo so that uh, for water excess water i talk because it's not good for uh, kwa mimea mm -hmm. when we have excess water. Mm -hmm. It works well with herbs because it's all, they do not, as in a root, a root system, yake, I, I need a lot of soil. So that's why it's not. So this yeah. is best for herbs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in a structure, kama ine is a cost to say how much? So, kaa iku kutengenezea, tuna, you buy the material, so labor we charge 1,500. Uh, so we are supporting the youth that we have. You may use one account, so I could have a lekwako. You see it as uh, you are providing income to someone. So to not charge to 1500, but material nanunua. Plastics, we can talk to Kunazo Nyat Konazo. Maybe we can provide if you don't have, but Kau Konazo Kwanyumba, we can utilize them. Nine as a hold, how many plastics you can make on why vertical? I mean, horizontally. Mm -hmm. So in 11. 11 to make a e spacing sababu kuna kama hub, uh, maybe if you have a deal mm -hmm. it grows taller so kapa we have the 11 11 uh, uh, plastic containers 11 11 so those are 33 of which uh, for a household you are your dania apple your deal your panel and the the hub mm -hmm. that you need yeah. ah okay that's what can lepa mbeletu we have another kind of uh, technique. Mm -hmm. What is it? So this is known as a kitchen garden. In mm -hmm. maybe most of the households are uh, It's just a sack, as you can see. But kuitengeneza, we need uh, upper katikati to nekanga mawe. We to na kujanga to kipanga mawe for so that water can percolate. Uh, and then round to neka mchanga metobo around where we are now planting our vegetables in the babaiso skuma spinach your herbs apple juice and as you can see in as someone can a family can consume <coughs> you are na easy mbili ka space to dog but ka you you can have a variety so that you can when a variety of vegetables at kiangalia hiyo nyingine iko hapo so this one we call it a rounded vertical garden so as you can see, it's round and it's uh, going vertically up in a pandaju. Uh, it may occupy a space of uh, three feet. So as you can see, up in China, we have easy crops. So we start as we get to share. In a whole like 40, 40, 40 stems. Now we have skuma. We have our spinach. 
Hapa juu we have the seeds of dania. And then spacing ya plant ni uh, around uh, 30 centimeters from a plant. Uh, pia hiyo kuna venye ina constructiva. Huko katikati we tunaweka ngamawe. Then to huko round ndio tunaweka sa mchanga so that ukimwaga maji hapa juu it can percolate ina ingia huko chini hadi kwa mchanga so the soil can have. And then again we are using tires. Old tires imeja around ziko everywhere zimetupwa so tunazileta we are making use of them mm -hmm. yeah na tukiangalia pia ingine still a vertical garden but mm -hmm. the interesting part ni mmepanda hadi nyanya mm. how does that work oh so hii bado ni rounded vertical structure na hii kwa hii tumetumia gunia tumetumia hizi sacks tumezitengeneza in a circular manner and then tukaeka mchanga na manyua so crops zenye tumepanda tuko na hapa hii tulikuwa tumepanda for herbs specifically herbs hapa tuko na this is the parsley tuko na parsley hapa juu and then hizi nyanya in fact these are we call they are known as volunteer crops because we, do, we did not plant them they come with manure and they are doing well tumekuwa tukizikula especially kwanza sasa hii hakuna nyanya mm -hmm. uh, we have celery hapa bado tulikuwa tumepanda celery and then this is a uh, basil kopia na basil so tulikuwa tumepanda herbs hapo uh, the same the same imejengwa tu na sacks and we have hiyo ni spinach tu tumepanda spinach hapo so it's the same technology as the uh, rounded vertical but sa tunatumia junior learning center tunakuonyesha if you cannot not afford this one tunaweza bado tumia sacks which is cheaper this shows that in a small space you can utilize to get good food crops, healthy food crops that you have grown for, from your own farm back at home. This is called an A-shaped vertical structure. As you can see, it resembles an A. Mm -hmm. And it may design your ivy on your... This pipe is here, a pipe for lighting purposes. Unaiza tumia mchanga, tunatumia pipes, and then ini mgomba tu ya kawaida ya ndizi. Tumetobwa mashimo na tukapanda. So, pipes zenye tukonazo hapa, kona hii pipe ambayo inatumia soil tumepanda using soil but also there's a technology ambayo tuna sensitize watu or educate them about inaitwa we are using the hydroponic technology so hydroponic technology it's about uh, using nutrient solution to produce your crops na uh, you know crops require nutrients for growth so kwa soil zinapatanga hiyo nutrients kwa soil uh, directly in the conventional way um, ambapo watu wanatumia soil but now here we are using uh, we are using uh, sawdust na imemixiwa with the fine gravel so we are using it as a medium to support or make a, provide mechanical support to the roots of the plant ni kui place hapo but this one does not have any nutrients any plant in the tumia so therefore tunatumia hiyo hydroponic solution tuna feed these plants zenye ziko hapa na hizi with the hydroponic water we started in january we are still conducting research and tuna hope to partner with the hizo kampuni so that kuna kuna ec electrical conductivity of every plant so that watu pia hao watu watueleze tujua tujua ile majikani ya spinach na pako ya spinach na the rest Mm -hmm. So hapa chini we have also planted ni ku utilize to your space pia isipote we have our skuma mm -hmm. so ni vertical you can have this in your balcony you can have it in your rooftop it can be constructed anywhere mm -hmm. yeah na e pro e technique a shaped what kind of crops apart from vegetables tunaweza panda kwa hizi pipes vegetables ju ya root system mm -hmm. you know pia zina hiyo especially the tap root inatakanga kwenda some centimeters into the soil maybe 30 or 30 centimeters so na when sure your soil iko ama ile pipe unatumia iko deep so vegetable uh, herbs nazo root system yake maybe fennel they call the tap root eh, inaweza inaweza kuwa nini kidogo challenge kwa hizo ni so pia hii inaweza kuwa poa na herbs but kwa unatumia the hydroponics since i, I nutrients zinaprovidiwa na hizi zile roots zenye ziko 
we found out that lettuce in a sana apa because it has the fibrous roots. Mm -hmm. So in a in ilko in a sana kwa easy. So to na plan we rudisha. Mm -hmm. How much will it cost them to set up an A shaped uh, hydroponic system? So it depends with the size that you hydroponic one. Mm -hmm. Okay, it depends with the size. Kama hii nye iko hapa, you will need uh, the, the, the wood, uh, uh, timber, and then the hydroponic solution. Uh, we do not make it kusababu kuna kampuni zanya zinamekiwa and it involves a lot of chem. chem. Uh, so uh, it's not that expensive. Inakujanga ikiwa concentrated. So uh, maybe a, a liter I can go for for maybe 150 to 300 depending on where you are buying it. So kama hii hii si tulitengeneza with 5000 plus the pipes. So it depends kama unataka kubwa the hydroponic uh, the shaped kubwa depends with the need but this one to the woods the pipes it to me 5000. Mm -hmm. But now tukikuja kukutengenezea if you buy the materials you will pay for labor. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, lazima mtu alipie yeah, labor. Lazima. Yeah, it's supporting, supporting the group. The, yeah, yeah, and yeah. funny enough, I have realized through the conversation, mm -hmm. yeah, easy techniques, mm -hmm. you're using organic farming. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us why and why you opted for organic farming. So, we are environmentalists to begin with. So, tume tuliona chemicals, mm -hmm. ziki releaseiwa, mm -hmm. zina ziki enda kwa maji. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a hazard to the environment. So we can we can produce crops organically and we are also formulating our own organic pesticide. Mm -hmm. We formulate it and we sell to uh, residents who are practicing uh, agriculture, their households. Mm -hmm. So to make organic farming, to uh, take chemicals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. So to kiangalia pia kwa easy structures mnatumia. To me on a shaped to go on a kitchen garden na tuko na vertical, vertical wall. So viewers back there at home, we really, really hope you've enjoyed the show and you're getting to learn from Mwengenye Lifestyle Community-Based Organization where they've set up uh, techniques and structures that are able to produce crops that you can grow with a healthy angle back at home. Well, thank you so much for staying tuned. We are not done because on our next episode, we will be back on this farm to discuss about the techniques they have, which is the square foot garden and many other types of techniques that you can utilize on your small space back at home. Thank you so much. I've been your host throughout the show, Margaret Irimo. Till next time, see you.